Hi guys, it's uh, Sunday evening, just gone 10.30 and uh, I've not, well, I've been home from mum's in about an hour and a half uh, but I uh, have just got out of a bath well not long been out of a bath anyway now, I saw the damn thing earlier, where did I put it? Here it is. I'm just going to attach the stand to the camera because it's easier to hold and there's less risk of me sticking my finger over the two microphone holes. So if I just do that. Right. Now, I did bring a bunch of stuff home from Mum's such as there's three handlebars here. There's two steel racing bike handlebars. I know they're steel, but they will probably sell if someone's uh, restoring an old road bike that uh, they want to restore, you know, back to original spec and not upgrade to aluminium. That's an aluminium bar. There's no brand name on it, but that's another item. Uh, and I've got that lot to go through here as well. I think this one and this one, the two rod brake ones, I'll have to um, send via courier because they're a bit big and heavy. But, uh, oh yes, that stem sold today as well. I put it on eBay at 3 50 and someone offered £3, so I took it. Uh, yeah, some alloy handlebars in there that aren't so good. Uh, a bunch of crap in there to sort through. Three handlebar stems there I'm going to put up on uh, eBay tomorrow. Uh, and a box of shit there to sort through. Ooh, that box was bloody heavy till I emptied it out. And Mum's old laptop, the old Windows XP that she has been using, because she's a bit like me in that respect. You know, if she's used to using something, she doesn't really want to change. But she didn't have a lot of choice because this old thing was freezing on a like a good one the other night when I was on the phone to her, to the point that she actually um, just turned it off and started using um, my stepdad's laptop. Uh, she's now gone back to the one she bought off of Biggles, which is the one that I kept jumping on every time I went over, because she didn't want to use it for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, but when I turned this one on today at Mum's, it won't boot, which will explain why that kept locking up on her. Um, it's saying there's either a Windows file missing or corrupt, so it can't boot. Um, it does give me the option to run the original, you know, Windows XP install CD and fix it, but in my experience, that doesn't often work. And I'm not sure if I want to fix it. I'm not sure if it's worth it. I mean, the actual touchpad mouse pad thingy itself is broken um, it can't really be upgraded from Windows XP you might get Windows Vista on it but that's going to be freaking slow uh, you could upgrade it to Windows 7 Windows 10 or anything like that but again it's going to be slow it does use DDR2 memory and up to 2 gigabytes, so it would run Windows 7 and Windows 10, but I believe it's only a single core processor, I think. Um, it's a shame, because uh, this laptop has actually served us all well, because I was using this one before I gave it to Mum. Gave it to Mum as a Christmas present a year or so ago now. Actually, it might be two years ago, I think. So yeah, it's... Served us a good few years at least. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I could just take it apart for parts or I could fix it. I don't know. Haven't decided. 
So yeah, I've got a handlebar stem to box up and post tomorrow. Uh, oh, I can't remember if I said this in my last video. I don't think I did. I emailed eBay regarding my account. Um, because I'm now above standard, which is good. Um... But I'm still restricted to the 10 items a month. Um, and uh, they have replied. Because I emailed them or asked if there was any way it can be lifted. And to keep, <laughs> to keep it short, all I've got to do is ring a number um, that they've replied in. Or they put in the reply email, I should say. Uh, which I might do that tomorrow, and I can discuss it with the actual department that deals with that. Um, I understand why they put limits on, and I do fully accept, I didn't want to at first, but I do now fully accept that the limits that were put on my account was my fault. And as the reply said, you know, they do it so accounts that have been good but might stray off the line like mine did they put the limits on so they can come back steadily without the risk of them you know falling off the rails again so to speak and uh, they said it's not just accounts like mine business accounts have limits as well um, and they're absolutely right, it is a good way of helping the seller not go over the top and get too carried away, because it's extremely easy to do. I'm not looking for a huge increase in my limits. I would settle for, well, if they would, I'd settle for 20 items a month, which is the maximum you can list for free. Um, before they start charging you an insertion fee and whatnot. So, yeah, if they could do that for me, that would be awesome. 20 items would be a big help. 20 items and maybe a £200 limit or something, that would do me. I'm not greedy. Just that little bit extra would be a, a help, because I've got so much bloody crap here. And it's just taking so long to get through it, because I can only put 10 items up a month. It <laughs> it's annoying more than anything, and so are some websites. I found um, well, I've got an interest in another show, and I found a website that shows the latest seasons of that show, but it keeps locking up my browser and glitching like a good and so. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's annoying as frig, but not much I can do about it. Oh, I've been invoiced. Okay. Three, four, five. Right. Really? I could have swore. Do they combine the shipping? They have combined it. Bloody hell. I'll use this seller again. Yeah, basically, I'm embarrassed to admit on camera. Yep. <laughs> and I have been on eBay buying some more of those little figures. The little My Little Pony figures. I've got, what, another six? It looks like I may have got outbid, I think. I think. <laughs> I'm just, uh... And I've got some cash in my bank account, so I ain't got to put much. 
in. I hope they relist what they didn't sell. That would be a help. That would be great. I don't know, it's just <laughs> one of those, uh, I just like the show. I like cartoons. I love the layout of the show. The characters are great, you know. The community itself, the fan base, is great. I just can't fault it. <laughs> I know that item is out of stock because uh, I bid on it. It's not what I'm looking for. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. Ah, so someone put a snuck a little bid in there. Ah, and the seller has relisted them. A hundred? A hundred quid for that road lamp? Are you fucking nuts? I didn't even pay that for mine. I think I paid about 20 quid. That's what they're worth. A hundred quid? You're fucking dreaming, mate. Don't worry, I'm not going to talk about anything pony related on the channel. But uh, the chances are you're going to see it in the background anyway, so... I figured I might as well spill the beans while I can. Right, so I can't sort payment out because I've got to top up. I should, ha I should only have to put £10 in my account. I think. <laughs> Let's uh, bring up seller's other items and I'll re-watch what I want to watch. Re-watch what I want to watch. Don't know where that came from. Anyway. Oh, there wasn't nothing down the recycle centre today either. Wrong time of year, even my stepdad said that was wrong time of year. It is. Totally the wrong time of year. My cell has got a lot of... Anyway, that's distracting me. <laughs> uh, don't want to delete that one. That's my invoice. I'm going to keep hold of that. my lights up in the or my Christmas lights up. They're not on but put them up yesterday because it was the switch on of the town's lights. So I figured you know as there's lots of people cutting through I'll just put mine on for tomorrow or for last night and uh, those LED bulbs actually work really well because my curtains have got a white back so you get a nice sort of swirling pattern between those two bulbs on the curtains. And uh, it's not brilliant, but you can see the uh, beams, you know, the LED light beams on the ground outside, even though we're uh, quite high up here. I wasn't actually expecting the beams to go that far, especially with the um, outside light out there drowning everything out. Uh, what else? Oh! I watched an interesting video yesterday from um, B. Bishop. He'd uh, been given a laptop and um, he made a video with it saying um, how not to dispose of a laptop or PC. Um, and he demonstrated how easy it is for anyone even with a little bit of knowledge about PCs to actually get all your personal data from your computer. Um, I couldn't believe how easy and simple it was. Even though this laptop was password protected and he could still get it. Um, he didn't show anything like the personal details on camera for obvious reasons. Um, 
but he did say, you know, he could have got this guy's social security numbers, his kids' social security numbers, bank account details, including account numbers and whatnot and passwords. The lot was all on there for the taking. And he said, you know, if he was a malicious person, he could really do some damage to that guy. So, in short, either totally wipe your hard drive or take it out and destroy it. Hard drives are easily replaceable, so if someone wanted to fix the laptop or the PC and get it running again, they can put their own one in. You know, they'll probably stick an SSD in them now as they are um, coming down in price. Isn't that right, boss? I didn't even realise it was that easy. It was as simple as putting a Linux bootable CD in the CD drive. That's all he did. You know, because the um, Linux CD had um, an actual operating system sort of installed on it. So when you put it in, the computer ran from the CD, not the hard drive. Which allowed him to not only get past the password, but to access all the files that were on the hard drive. Because <laughs> you only need the password to get past the um, startup screen. You don't need it to access the folders. So, so another way someone probably could have easily done it is to take the hard drive out of the laptop. And... Uh, if it's a SATA hard drive, an SATA hard drive, you could easily plug it into an ordinary desktop like that. Because the SATA connections are exactly the same size. One slave drive, you can access everything that way. With or without a password. So, yeah. The same could prob similar things could probably be done with your mobile phones as well and your tablets. But uh, the problem with mobile phones and tablets, you can't just w uh, you know wipe the drive like you can with a PC or a laptop. I mean, there are tools you can get to completely nuke the drive, as they say. But they actually say if you really want to be sure that no one can get your data, just take it out, smash it with a hammer. Just completely destroy it. Stick it in one of them shredders that you can get. That shreds almost anything. <laughs> I mean, I sign into my bank account on here. And all it's going to take is for someone to go through my internet history, or even my links to my bank account, and they could probably hack it. <laughs> it's not as hard as you might think. minutes left so I've been chatting for about 20 minutes.